Well, in our last book, poor Rodney, the rainbow fish, had some unfortunate situation with rubbish being dumped in his creek. Let's see what happens in his second adventure. It's entitled, Rodney Meets the Space Invaders, or Those Fish That Invade His Space. Hmm. In his last adventure, Rodney Rainbow and his friends had a very narrow escape from the irresponsible dumping of rubbish in their waterway. Little did they know that that incident was about to cause even more trouble. Along with the rubbish from the shed was a large glass jar that had been overlooked by the land care group. Being clear glass, it was difficult to see as it camouflaged well with the water in the creek. It was easy to see why, because it had fallen into a cavity behind some large tree roots. So that's why they didn't find it. It wasn't the jar itself that was the major cause for concern, but rather what the jar contained. The person who had intentionally discarded his rubbish into the creek, had also discarded this large jar. It contained fish previously belonging to his children. The children had since grown up and moved away. The fish had also grown up, but they couldn't move away. At first the man thought to put them down the drain, but then he decided to set them free in Rodney's Creek, along with all the other rubbish. Not a great idea. These fish, called sawtails and platys, were from South America. In ideal conditions, they could give birth to about 60 live babies every month. Imagine having 60 babies in a month. Oh my goodness. Some of them were olive green with a red horizontal stripe, very similar to some of the markings on Rodney Rainbow Fish and his friends. This is where things turn chaotic. Rodney Rainbow, Harry Hardyhead, Honey Blue Eyes, Olive Perchlet, Fiona Firetail, and many of their creek community lay eggs. When the eggs hatch, the baby fish, which are very, very tiny, are known as fry. They are very, very small. When the baby sawtails and platies are born, they immediately go in search of things to eat. They often eat the eggs of Rodney Rainbow and his friends. They grow fast and in a very short time have many babies of their own. They keep multiplying. This leads to overcrowding as they invade the space of Rodney and his community. Thankfully, Leo and his land care group are there to help yet again. Providing good habitat and educating people about releasing invasive species helps Rodney and his friends when their space is invaded. Sadly, ideal conditions in areas where Rodney and his friends live make it extremely difficult to put fish back in the jar. And there's their friends again, except there's a new one, Olive Perchlet. Unfortunately, there's Sammy Sawtail and Patty Platty too. I wonder what his next adventure will be. We'll have to wait till Eka time to see about his third adventure. <laughs> <laughs>